this yes it's back the green screen is back i paid the, i paid the grip for this one but you know what it's worth it's so beautiful and crisp so like i said for review views here please like comment subscribe this is my i guess my reaction slash recap of some of the most important things that happened in the billboard awards and we're gonna start it off with bts Let, let's just start it off right we're starting it off with bts they they came they saw they conquered i'm never gonna spend much time on their performance of fake love thank you love because no need it was exactly what this show needed we got the janet self which i'm going to talk about janet next um we got a girl in our Ariana Grande for the vocals, but let's just focus on BTS for just for a little, two, three minutes. Let's just enjoy the fact that I appreciate hard work. I appreciate effort put into things. I appreciate choreography. I pre appreciate live vocals. I appreciate a fan army that is louder than loud, supports harder than the rest, and definitely ARMY does that for BTS. Shout out to ARMY for that. You know, last year I became a pseudo member of the ARMY. And I say pseudo only because I'm not going to act like I know what they're doing at all times. Or even all their names most of the time. But I enjoy the music. That's what matters most. I enjoy the music. I enjoy the videos. I enjoy the work put in. I'm glad that someone is appreciating the culture and doing it right. Because some of these people that are here that should be appreciating the culture how some of these other acts that you know outside of the states appreciating our culture it it's just i'm glad someone is i'm glad someone is and eventually it'll come back to us but it'll take some time now like i said the fan army they were a little bit they were army was used a little bit no a lot of bit when it came to production because production made sure anytime they wanted some extra you know applause and reaction guess who they panned to no, not Shawn Mendes. No, not Ariana. No, not um, Taylor Swift. BTS. Because BTS Army, they, a lot of people came from across the country and also overseas to come and support them. That's how strong their fan base is. Even at award shows, they go and show up and show out. It, it, it kind of because I don't care anyone says this this trumps the type of love that at least outward love or at least feeling that I get from a fan army that even like One Direction now yes One Direction it was crazy they definitely had it was definitely similar but I feel like this is even stronger so shout out to them for that I listened to the album I enjoyed the album but I really enjoyed the second half. When it started to pick up, because I said, okay, I get it. I understand we're going through things, but I'm not right now. I'm on the other side. Let's go to the other side. And when we went to the other side, I enjoyed, I enjoyed, especially the second to last song, So What? That is my song right now. So what? That That, that is a mantra. That is a way of life. I love when Pinks did it. Well, of course, I love when BTS did it. Fake Love. It's a great uh, first single. Well, it's a, a great main single, I should say. And like I said, the choreography is great. They didn't go and spend, you know, just spend money or frivolously to go and have the stage and doing all that. No, do what you do best. Sing, dance, and, you know, make it look entertaining and tight. Just like how they always do. So that's it. We're moving on to... Janet Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. <laughs> if you're nasty. Oh, oh, the love for Janet. I am so glad. It's better late than never. Because some of these same networks, some of these same award shows, that wouldn't be where they are without the Jacksons. Because let's be very clear. The Jackson family aid in recreating the concept of music videos and the excitement and the fanfare that now it's being um you know duplicated and even you know some of your favorite act acts right now they would not be where they are if it wasn't for the jacksons and um you know the jacksons paving the way and they always talked about political issues they always stood up for things and that's partially 
why they always received some hate that was in the background like and it came to the forefront as soon as they weren't as soon as uh you know some of the personal life started to come out and trump things huh no pun intended and then with the super bowl and how dare how dare still to this day i'm still but really we're doing all this to this woman but all these other people especially these men can go and get away and do this okay okay all right all right so janet she's there and bruno he's doing his speech and of course big enough in her and then once they did the montage of why janet is the ish as if we don't already know it as if we don't already know it he cut because and she gave kudos to joe shout out to Catherine. Catherine looked good they got her a new wig she looks like she's in better health better spirits review was that i said i said look at the jackson family look at look at the jackson family coming through look at the jackson family coming through and uh what obviously it was just showing rhythm nation control it was going through the discography talk because this is billboard so it's about stats talking about how janet what was it like seven consecutive top fives not top tens top fives off of one album off of one album record breaking 18 consecutive top tens jesus <laughs> gee and again this is back then when it was so difficult to even get to the top 10 and so it's just mine that's why we had to the first black woman to receive this now you know what i'm okay with that only because i'm thinking you know unless we're going to give it to someone like diana ross before janet then that would make sense if we're going to give it to someone like aretha then that makes sense patty so but if we're not giving it to the legend legend legends then yes it makes sense that janet does then I want to see Mariah Carey because Mariah Carey, all of, shout out to all the black women, the black queens that dominated, paved the way, ished on all of those rock acts, man, like everyone that was, and it was so hard during that time. That's why we have to give the applause. And then Janet comes out and performs. I'm glad that Bruno, you know, he was like, look, I'm actually making money off of my tour, so I'm not going to go and do any performance here. I'm just going to enjoy this. Because Janet influenced Bruno. She obviously had a hand in BTS. She had a hand in all of these artists that you see today in some way, shape, or form. Or helping them get the platforms that they have today. That's why kudos and praise needs to be given. Huh. And then she goes up. There. Eh. She's nasty. I said, eh. Eh, hey, hey. eh, the, the diverse dancers. I'm thinking, hey, hey. Ooh, yeah. I said, oh, oh, now you're playing with us. The performance itself, colorful, choreography driven, but let's be very clear. Jay Jackson's going back on tour, so she's not, she's not about to go and give us a 10 minute showcase on here. She doesn't need to prove to you, remind you why she's Janet Jackson. She just needs to show you that this is how it should be done. You have the tools, you have the budget. Well, maybe you don't have the budgets, but you're making money so you can put towards budgets. You can get sponsored deals. You, some of you acts out here need to do more because you have the resources so you can do more. And that's the bar needs to be raised because right now it's looking very, for the past couple of years, years, it was looking very generic. Some Marius were starting to, you know, set their game up. So shout out to them for that, but more need to. And she goes and she does her speech. I said, look at Janet. They, two mic, it was three microphones. I said, I said, you know what? You know what? They know. They know. So why are we going to pretend? They know. They gave her three microphones. I'm thinking, smart, smart. Just talk. And Janet talked about essentially how, yeah, time's up. Thank the Lord that we're in a different space where, you know, all this can happen. That now women empowerment, men, and we're also actually empowering the women. Shout out to all of that. Uh, now we're stopping with the sexual assaults, the abuse. When she's ended, like, oh yeah, no more abuse. I said, hmm. Ooh, she talking to someone right now. And she also said, and you know, person that we have to the thing that we have to look at and can really bring us back together. I thought she was going to say music because, you know, I'm thinking artsy. No, she said God. I said, 
Jehovah's Witness go Janet Is she back? Oh my Because you know for a moment she 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 dialed heavily back on all that. So I said, oh, and you know, when she said that, it, the crowd was like, oh, yeah, right. I think it, there were some people that were dead on like, yeah. Others are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking some of y'all are a mess. Anywho, uh, well, that's going on. Her speech was done. She kept it relatively short and sweet. And so I said, okay, Janet, thank you. So that's it for the Janet stuff. Oh, and then we get to salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's here. Salt, 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 salt. And Spinderella. <laughs> I enjoyed their performance the most. I'm going to be completely honest. I enjoyed salt and pepper and Spinderella's performance the most out of anyone's performance. Because that's 90s. That's New York. So I I really felt that I felt that that I I said oh my god because it's 80s and 90s I should say salt and pepper they're, they're really 80s and 90s so that was that was and I'm glad DJ Spinderella was there obviously salt and pepper also Trailblazers paved the way female MCs talking about certain content talking about um sexual content hey. Let's talk, let's talk about sex. Um, you know, just they they had the lyrics, they had the lyrical content, but they also had the top 40 friendly music. They weren't trying for that, they just achieved that. And that's why that's when it's really respected when you're not trying to pander to a group, you just do it. That's that that's amazing. That's amazing, that's special. Um what did they start with? What did they start with? Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, it was just high energy. Like I said, it had the 80s different looks. And shout out to Peppa's shout out to Saul. It, it, just, it just felt right. Like, you know the 90s was it. It was. I don't care what anyone says. The 90s was it. It was a culmination of a lot of things. And it was just amazing. And then in Vogue came out, and I'm thinking, I'm looking, and I was like, in Vogue, what's up? And then I forgot, what a mighty good man. I said, oh, I love that song too. That's my song, because they told them about me. They told them about me. <laughs> no, let me stop. Uh, in Vogue looks great. I'm thinking, Dawn? I, I was looking, I'm thinking, where's Dawn? I said, oh, they're still playing her vocals. That's, that's when you know you're good. When they don't even bother to try and scrub you out. They said, no, let's stop playing with the people. Let's just let them hear what they want to hear so they can get the check. Huh. And then I think at one point, Spinderella, it was her turn. Oh. Um, and then even Kelly Clarkson came on. And that's when I knew, okay, the show's done. Because they said they were going to end the show with that. But Salt and Pepper, like I said, they are definitely trailblazers. There's definitely a lot of influence for a lot of female rappers when it comes to choreography look from what they did. Um, breaking that, I mean, they went with the short bobs. Not even the short bobs, the short crimps. <laughs> that, that was game changing. It, even though it was an accident, that they it affected pop culture because of that hairstyle that was actually a jacked up version of what they wanted to do. Women and even some men alike Still to this day, do different versions of that hair. Push it. <gasps> Push it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. I, I can't talk to you if you can't. If you can't at least say, okay, yeah, they did, they did what they did. Shout out to them. I'm not asking for you to be fans. I'm just saying, yeah, they did their thing. And for New York. New York. Come on. So that's it. Oh, sidebar. It was funny. It was hilarious when I when you see the older people that were looking at the people having the connections for BTS. I'm thinking that's that's a boy band. Th that's what happens. And there's such a big boy band that you even see the guys 
showing love. And not even just like seeing the stereotypical guys that you would expect to show love. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Oh, I'm so happy you're back in my life. <laughs> hey, green screen.